Autotech's Mean Machine series of amplifiers claim to bring extreme power and high quality sound with minimal distortion. What caught my eye on this unit was the size and the rated power output. But just how mean is the Autotech MM1525.1D single channel monoblock amplifier? Stay tuned for our testing in a minute to find out. Inside the box is an instruction manual, monoblock amplifier, base boost extension cable, and base level control, mounting hardware, and Allen key. This is a single channel class D amplifier which is stable at 1 ohm, 2 ohm, and 4 ohm loads. Autotech rates it at 1500 watts RMS at 1 ohm, 750 watts RMS at 2 ohms, and 375 watts at 4 ohms. Those are some serious claims for an amplifier that goes for $110 and is as small as this one. Personally, I'm a little skeptical, especially after opening it up and looking at the guts. It looks a little light for those bold claims. Let's test the mean machine out for ourselves and just see how mean it is. First, we ran a test of frequency response. And this for a Class D monoblock sub was actually really good. It's flat from 12.5 Hz to 400 Hz, all within 3 dB. Next test we ran was single channel driven, 4 ohms, 40 Hz, 14.4 volts. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. Our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 167 watts RMS, 1% distortion, and 25 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 152 watts and we drew 13.7 amps of current. Next test was single channel driven, 2 ohms, 40 hertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 279 watts RMS, 1% distortion, and 23 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 260 watts RMS and we drew 23.5 amps of current. Our final test was single channel driven, 1 ohm, 40 hertz, 14 volts. Our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 400 watts RMS, 0.94% distortion, and 19.8 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 380 watts RMS and we drew 38 amps of current. When it comes to being mean, this Autotech mean machine is about as scary as a French bulldog. It still has teeth, so it might hurt, but it's not gonna kill you. For $110, this amplifier is a solid option when powering a set of dual two ohm entry level 10 inch or 12 inch subwoofers. In that respect, it gets the job done. And if you buy two amps, you can power each two ohm dual voice coil subwoofer individually and get 400 watts continuous to each woofer. But it didn't really come close to its rated power output, only hovering between 20 and 50% of its rating. But we kind of knew that going in. There are multiple ways to wire your head unit to the Autotech. Use a pair of RCA inputs to connect your head unit directly with RCA cables. It will accept up to six volts on the RCA for high level speaker inputs directly from your factory head unit. It does not have RCA output, so no daisy chaining a second amplifier. For adjustments, you have low pass filter, subsonic filter, bass boost, input level control. Use the included remote bass control to make adjustments up front. Plug it directly into the bass boost input. For power and ground connections, the terminals will accept up to four gauge power wire or larger gauge using reducers. The speaker terminals will fit as low as 12 gauge speaker wire. Autotech doesn't mention it, but there are two built-in 25 amp fuses and LED power and protect indicators to help prevent damage. Use this amplifier to one or two subwoofers and we recommend a minimum of four gauge power and ground leads depending upon the length of the wire. Check out our amplifier installation kits online, link in the bio. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.